Hi Capricorn, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your bonus tarot and oracle card readings to find out what the solar eclipse will bring into your life. Keep in mind that solar eclipses are very important events. They're doorways into transformation. They empower you. They help you cut out. They herald endings and bring in new beginnings. They are the cycle of life itself. And the other important astrological event we have is the conjunction of Jupiter and Uranus. Uranus is the planet of quick and sudden change. Expect the unexpected. Whereas Jupiter is like the Santa Claus. It brings expansion and growth and opportunities and gifts. It's wonderful. So we're going to do the money reading first, then we'll have the love reading. You have last quarter moon in Capricorn. Leave the past behind, okay? So if you've been sort of transfixed on that energy in that card, that's very good. We're going to consult the tarot now about money. All right. What advice do you have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus to attract financial abundance and prosperity? Okay, we will do a four card reading followed by an oracle card reading. Then we'll get into the love tank. All right, you've got the Empress, the Ace of Cups, and the Eight of Cups. Moving on to deeper meaning and the star. This is great. Wish fulfillment. You have the path to the heart and the goddess of truth here. You have Aquarius. You've got quite a bit of water. And I also feel like, too, with the Empress, she represents Earth, the Mother Earth. She is the mother of the tarot. I'll tell you what, though. Let's point this out because we must. You see that? You see how that they both pull these energy shifts and pulls. The em the Empress energy allows growth into your life and major expansion with money. She represents luxury. So your thoughts turn into things. Your good ideas. If you have some kind of stock portfolio, get ready to see your quarterly reading showing it going up by a big jump. I also want to tell you, too, with the Empress, so it's time to take action. She does not just sit on her keister. I know she is on these pillows, but the energy helps you to get busy again, especially allowing your creative juices to flow. If you do something in marketing or you do something with, like, software design where you're marketing and advertising, or it's even for your own personal business, you say, I need to get a website. I need to do this and that. This is where you're going to be inspired to take action. We're going to reach out to people, do that sort of work. And I feel like you will not be disappointed. Like anything you create in this energy is beautiful. And so with the Ace of Cups, you have an offer and an opportunity here. Now, if you're doing any kind of decorating, if you're staging a house or something like that, it's going to come out into perfection. Or if you say, I want to use my creativity. I'm in a very nuts and bolts job. There's something very boring about this. I keep seeing somebody as like a toll worker um, videotaping themselves. I, you'd have to check the state that you're in if that would be allowed. But I do feel like it's something like that, turning this mundane job, which isn't really that mundane because you interact with all kinds of strange people and something like that, into something. Okay, turning something that you do all the time into something more. That's how I'm getting this. So with this Ace of Cups, it'll feel like a hobby. It's a job that feels like a hobby where you can't wait to do it. Your cup is overflowing here. So anything that you're doing with a change or a transition with your career is going to be beautiful. I will say, though, too, with a move, I feel like you're moving on to something better. Whatever it is that you're going towards with the hero's journey, this eight of cups, what you're leaving behind is not bad, but it's time to move on is what they're trying to tell you. You have a new cycle coming in, and especially on the heels of a solar eclipse. And as we head into that conjunction, it's going to be feeling the push. The pull, really, the pull is getting you more even than the push where you say, I could stay here, but I know there's more for me. I'm going to move on because I know there's something else. So with the star, you have way better times coming in. This is a card, too, where you're going to have an influence on the people around you. I feel like you may get recruited for a job or get a job offer, and they're not joking if it's somebody that you interact with in terms of a professional person and you think it's a joke. They're serious. They want you on their team. But with the star energy, too, there's the next seven, eight weeks are going to be important here. There's an illumination coming in. And the star energy is growth, expansion, but it's everything you wanted. It's wish fulfillment. So I do feel like they're telling you to follow your heart, follow your dreams, and you keep moving forward. Don't stop until you get there. So let's see now. 
What else do you need to know? This is from the Fortune Oracle deck. You've got the dragonfly. Have confidence during this time of great joy, renewal, and connection with spirit. So the card of the star is also about self-care. So meditate. Go and sit next to a stream somewhere. Meditate. Quiet the mind and ask. There's nothing wrong. Ask, ask, ask. Okay, now we're going to ask about love. Speaking of asking. What advice do you have for Capricorn to attract the love of their lives into their lives, please. What does Capricorn need to know about love? All right, same setup, four cards with an Oracle card at the end. You've got the Four of Swords, the Nine of Cups, another one of the Wish Fulfillment cards, Justice and the Hangman. Now, this is interesting because these two are in order. Okay, we have 78 cards here. We just had two cards, Major Arcana, come out in order. That's a big deal. That Hangman energy is a light bulb moment. I'm telling you what, turn on your heart light. You turn that sucker on on high beam, all right? Because you have love coming in here. Now, with this Four of Swords, if you've been in a breakup, you are going to get communication. And as long as you want it with that Nine of Cups, it's coming in. Because Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. You have double wish fulfillment. How'd you get so lucky here? You have the one of the lottery tickets of the tarot here, but this is about love. This Four of Swords helps you get centered and organized. So if you've been spending some time, quiet time in meditation, or even just getting away from it all, like, you know, if it's lunchtime and you just get away from people and you want to go do your own thing somewhere, it's this driving you. If you find that you wake up in the middle of the night and you just say, I'm just going to meditate, I'm just going to hang out and meditate, guess what you're doing? You're opening up the channel to your heart. If you've been wounded, if you've had a total eclipse of the heart, the sun will shine on you again. With this nine of cups, you got somebody coming in. I see somebody who's a super, super straight teeth and a very cute dimple. Okay, somebody who smiles, it looks like they have one dimple, but I just love their energy. They, they light up inside. When they see you, I get like fireflies at night. You know, on those hot, steamy nights, we used to visit my grandma in Indiana and I remember she lived across the street from a cheese factory, which we thought was very fascinating, but she used to have fireflies. We'd always catch fireflies. I get like this illumination and it's this, okay? Whoever this is, boy, do they have a thing for you. Sparks are flying, but I'll tell you what, it's more than that. This is somebody who says, I have found the real deal. I have found the person I've been looking for all these years, the search is over. So with the justice energy, it's very upfront energy. This is very trustworthy. So if you've had your heart broken, you've had somebody who you could not trust, this is not them. This is somebody, they may work in law enforcement or they may be an attorney or something like that. I also feel like too, they have quite a mind for knowledge. They're very, very intelligent energy, but it's somebody who will love you like no other. They would not get in a relationship unless they meant it. They will fall and fall hard. So with the hangman energy, okay, it's so interesting that we had this right after this. It's total openness. That's your advice. You get open, okay? There's something about this. Now, the number four is important here. The next four weeks may be pivotal, but be open. You see how he has his arms and his legs behind him? There's nothing holding him back. You are going to be very approachable in this energy, but I feel like your openness is going to be attractive. So if, you, if you've been guarded and it's time, it's time for you to fall head over heels again. So if you're asking a timing card, how about now? How, how is that? Let's hear from the whispers of love. You've got slow down, pause and allow things to unfold. I'm still telling you though to get open, okay? Because you do have a lover coming in. Good things are on the way for you, Capricorn. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.